9.087 the first volt impossible she's not going to get the bronze Second vault. Phelps, beautifully done. Performs it well. She's very confident on that vault. Knows it very well. So here's the half on. Tiny bit of leg separation. Half turn off the horse. Supposed to do the half turn first and then a layout front. A little bit piked, perhaps she could have been more stretched at her hips. We won't see it on this angle. Now here's the score for Lisa Mason, a 9.199, her score on vault. There's Zena getting ready for what could be, should be, hopefully will be a gold medal performance. Only needs an 8.983 to jump into the lead. And Zena is well and truly capable of achieving that score. Clean mount. Cast blind. Front giant full. Healy. Catches the Jaeger. That's the difficult part. 4D elements in succession. Clean, giant full, giant blind, here we are. There's our champion! Yes, she's done it! No <laughs> way! I don't think we have to wait for the score. That was a great routine. And that certainly should be enough to win her the gold medal. She needed 8.983. And I'm going to send a cheerio home on her behalf for coaches Xiao Yi and Fiona Bird who are sitting watching this at home. They've both put a tremendous amount of work into Zena as has Mark Carlton. And just watching this superb routine here. What a true champion. And she pops up to the high bar for the last part of the routine. Giant full. There's the giant half. Stretches it over the low bar. Right into the air. Tiny knee separation. Sticks the landing. <laughs> and the smile. <laughs> there it is. 9.575. There's our champion. There is our gold medalist, Zena McLaughlin. Zena McLaughlin of Australia. The gold medal winner. Alana Slater of Australia, the silver medal. And yes, it is a clean sweep. Trudy McIntosh of Australia has picked up the bronze medal. One, two, three, Australia. A, a clean sweep for Australia. Please rise, honour the national anthem. Off last night, dominating the individual apparatus and taking three gold and a bronze in the process. Andrei Kratsov easily won the floor routine and followed it up with a gold in the pommel, making him Australia's most decorated male gymnast at a Commonwealth Games. Brennan Darick picked up the pommel bronze. Our other gold went to Pavel Mamin in the rings. Australia has competing in Australia and loves the competition. We need lots of competition, like we had this year. That's where results are specific aligns Commonwealth Games, because we had almost every month we had one comp, and that really helps. And we're just improving and improving every every month. There you go, Andre Kravstov. Pavel Mamine also picked up a gold in the men's gymnastics as well. But all I can say, Tim, is roll on tomorrow in the 1500 metres freestyle. Now from England. Lisa Mason. Once again, the crucial thing with these apparatus finals is the degree of difficulty or the start value for each of the two volts. This one is 
Handspring front in pike position. Too many running steps afterwards. Girls all look a bit jaded today, actually, don't they? They do. Need to smile a bit, loosen up, perhaps. She's such a good vaulter. Nice stretch. Small leg separation as she wraps the salt. A couple of running steps afterwards, so at least two, maybe three tenths on landings. There's the stretch. Could open out earlier. There's actually quite a big deduction for not showing a full opening of the body before landing. Maybe they're exhausted from all the shopping they did. I saw them yesterday at the markets. <laughs> they were shopping more than you were. <laughs> Unbelievable. <That's> hard. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. More than you. Right. Second vault. She'll do from the Sukahara family of vaulting. That's a half turn onto the horse. Oop, it's a false run. Now, she's actually allowed to have one false run without penalty. If she was in men's gymnastics, that would be a no vault. There's slightly different rules for each of the disciplines. If she was in men's gymnastics, there'd be an inquiry. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> uh, if she was in men's gymnastics, there'd be a lot of men doing gymnastics. <laughs> right. This is her only other chance. Half turn on, half turn off, lay out front. She cracks a smile. <laughs> okay, that bolt has a start value of 9.8. She's a very powerful girl. Half on, leg separated, half off. Ideally needs to show more stretch through the hips throughout that second part of the vault. We'll see here as she comes off the horse and does the turn. She starts to pike over the top. She looks a lot taller than the other gymnasts, but in actual fact she's only about five foot four. Don't ask me how many centimetres that is. And she's come up with a nine, two, three, one to be the leader. Now here's the girl I think is going to challenge Trudy McIntosh for this gold medal. Made a big error in the all-around competition on vaulting, but averaged a 9.331. But she's going to open with a handspring front pike. A little bit flat. Hard to see from this angle but really didn't get the salto peaking sufficiently. Just rolls a little bit forwards and not completing the salto and certainly not opening enough out before the landing. 8.912 the first vault for Rita. She's given the green light for the second vault. Choosing the same vault as uh, teammate Lisa Mason and Sonia Lawrence, who came before half on, half off, lay out front. <laughs> Much better second vault, very dynamic. We haven't seen too many good landings this evening, however. Accelerating to the board. Good body position throughout. Half on leg separation, which is not too good. And a very large step at the end. And perhaps a tiny bit piked over the top as well. 9-1-2-4 is the score for Annika Rita which puts her in second place behind her teammate Lisa Mason. Now, McIntosh... McIntosh here is going for broke. She's opening with a handspring front layout with the half turn, so that's a 9-9 start score, the first we've seen tonight. Come on, Trudy. 